See the Irish moss is eaten across North America. Hi Poppy, what do you think? Poppy loves seaweed. Hey, this is Tidepool Tim, and this morning we're picking some fresh seaweed. And I wanted to show off some of the beautiful dulse, which is the red seaweed. And this time of year, it's really starting to grow. I mean, it's April Fool's Day, April 1st, and I'm just coming across this ledge, seeing all this nice dulse. I'll just pick a piece here, separate it out. So this seaweed, it's called Palmaria palmaria, that's the genus and species, and it really has these finger-like lobes. And all winter long it's been hunkered down, a little tiny hold fast right there that attaches it to the rock. And this is probably the most popular red seaweed that's eaten in New England anyway. Obviously the Irish moss is eaten kind of across North America. Hi Poppy, what do you think? Poppy loves seaweed. You like dulse? You like dulse? Look at this, in just a few minutes of harvesting, I've got a half a pail of fresh dulse. But look at this, here's some fresh iris moss, Condors crispus, growing right on the rocks. Let me fill in my pail. Look at this spring growth. We're on a ledge at low tide in early April. See this big fronds. Of course, there's a lot of different seaweeds growing here. We have some rack, some dulse, some sea lettuce. I don't know if you'd notice this, but see these little bumps on the Irish moss? These are little spore producing sexual organs where they're going to release their gametes and grow the next generation. You can literally just pull this right off the rock. Poppy is quite excited and quite wet. Poppy, you want some sea moss? Oh, she loves it. She loves it. <laughs> you can't have that. That's for me. I'm just getting a little more harvest going here. Look on this rock. You know, all of our seaweeds are harvested right off the rocks. Irish moss grows year-round, and just like most people know that trees are growing in the winter. However, slowly, most of the growth is in the summer months, when the sun is the strongest. But so this moss, an amazing seaweed, it freezes solid when the tide's out in the winter. And uh, in the summertime, if it's windy and hot, it almost completely dries out. But you can see on this rock right here, it's only growing from the low water mark where the sea urchins can eat it up a, maybe three feet to where the rockweed is um, and where it can't, it gets out competed. So there's no rockweed here. There's just pure rocks covered with Irish moss. Let's see here, we got a little bit of sea lettuce in there. But other than that, it's good clean stuff. Still raining out. My raincoat keeps getting in the way of the GoPro. Look at that, we're filling up fast. After we harvest it, we rinse it in the seawater, and then we lay it out in our greenhouse to dry. Once it's dried, we kind of shake it and look for little bits of shell. And sometimes little shrimp are found in there little circular things that look like donuts, which are actually snail eggs. But all of those sort of anomalies mostly get sifted out before we ship our product out to our customers across the country. So I've got enough moss here this morning for my fresh orders. If you've never tried Irish moss fresh, we should overnight it or two day it to your location and you can try eating Condor's Crispus set up in a dried form, fresh, and you can still throw it in your Vitamix. It makes a beautiful moss gel. It's just a different way of doing it. Oh, look at here. At the end of the day, here we find some pink encrusting algae on this rock. But look at that huge sea colander kelp. That's about as big as these guys get. They grow wide, 
and they grow with all these holes in them and that's why it's called sea colander because the tide and the current goes right through the fronds allowing them to absorb the nutrients from the cold ocean water so what's happened here is this plant was further up the bay somehow it became unattached from the tide or the wind and it's washed down downstream oh puppy's at it what do you got puppy some bladder rack well, that is a true seaweed dog right there don't have to supplement her diet <laughs> well, that's it for this morning Todd pulled tin kind of soaked oh, a big piece of sugar kelp trying to get back to the shop and shower it's been a beautiful set of tides this month here we are on April 1st and the tides and the moon cycle going back the other way from a 21 foot tide today by next week we'll be around 17 feet so that gives you an idea of how it ranges based on the lunar cycle and how much the tidal range here in Cubs Cook Bay changes week to week and month to month.